In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the dispersion action. So inside Photoshop, the first thing we want to do is light up the actions panel. So let's go to the window menu, select actions, and we want to load our actions. So click on the top right hand corner icon, scroll down to load actions, and select the dispersion.atn file. The folder will appear here with our actions inside, and I'll explain what those do in a second. So next up, we want to open up the photo we want to work with. So I'm just going to open up this photo here. Now you want to leave the background uh, layer set as a background layer. You don't want to call it anything else um, or the, otherwise the action won't work. So next step is we want to brush the areas uh, that we want to disperse. So to do that we need to create a new layer okay, and we need to call it brush. All lowercase needs to be spelt exactly like that. okay. Next, we want to grab a brush, so if I just hit B on the keyboard and right click, I'll select a hard brush here and I can use the square brackets to adjust the size of the brush up and down. You can select any colour you want, so let's just go with green and with the brush layer selected, you can start brushing in where you want um, the photo to disperse, so if I just brush around here around here, down on the other hand, you can be as rough or precise as you want, okay, I'll do the feet, alright, so with that done, uh, the next thing you need to decide is what direction you want uh, the pieces to disperse in. So in this case, I want them to shoot up into the air. So inside the dispersion folder, I'm going to select the up direction. And with the up action selected, all I need to do is click play. Now, there's a lot of steps that the action needs to run through, and it's going to take about a minute to complete. So I'll just click play and then fast forward the video to the result, and we'll go from there. Okay, so the action is complete and this is the result we have. So you can see that the areas that we brushed in are the areas of the photo that are gonna break apart and shoot up in the air because we, uh, we chose the up action. So let's go into the layer panel and just talk about what the action is created for us. So the top two layers here, it's just simple adjustment layers that add a bit of contrast and extra saturation to your photo. You can turn them on and off, use them if you want. The dispersion folder, if I turn this one on and off, you can see that that's where all the action happens. So if we go inside here, we have our parts folder. If I turn this one on and off, they're all our bits and pieces. And the folder below, motion blur, if I turn this one on and off, you can see what that does. Inside the motion blur folder, we have three layers. Uh, you can freely move them around if you want. Also, the default opacity is set to 50%, so you can turn it up to 100%. Just experiment with those. Okay, let's go inside the parts folder. Inside here, we have a whole bunch of layers uh, which you can freely move around. So if I just grab, for example, one through to seven, move them to the size, so you can see, you know, I can move them up in the air further. I can select one at a time, move them around. So you've got complete control over the position of those ones. These top four layers, blurred one to four, these are the large blur shapes you'll see up in the air here. Uh, so you can move them around wherever you want. Scrabble four. You can see them there, just like that. Uh, if you want, you can add uh, more parts. You can select the whole group. Let's go you know, I can select from 48 down to 62 and go duplicate layers. And then I've got a whole bunch more. I can just move up into the air like that, move them around individually in group. Okay. Now let's go down and take a look at the cleanup layer. Now I've set this one up uh, in case you want to remove any artifacts that the action's created or just little bits and pieces that you don't want around. So if I turn this one on, uh, you can see that it's hidden our original photo and it's just kept 
uh, the effects that the actions created. So with this turned on, we can brush out bits and pieces that we don't want. And to do that, if we select the dispersion folder mask, select that, grab a black brush, so hit B on the keyboard, and brush into this mask, you can remove pieces that you don't want. Just like that. Okay? So we can turn that one off. And that's all there is to it. So um, don't forget to, you know, create more parts. You can even duplicate this entire folder. So if I right click on this folder and go duplicate group, I can move this entire group up. Just like that. And you can go inside and again, move all these around uh, individually. Yeah. So in this next part of the video, I'm gonna talk about uh, how to use a PNG image with this action uh, because if you simply open up a PNG image so for example um, you've got a person cut out from the background the action won't work so let me just show you how to get around that so let's open up a PNG so you can see here I've got the person cut out from the background so even if you call this one background it won't work this has to be set as the background layer so to do that we want to go to layer new background from layer and what that'll do it'll convert that to the background layer but you'll notice it's filled all in white but that's okay because we can still run the action so we're going to do that now so create a new layer call it brush uh, hit b on the keyboard to get our brush and select a hard brush and let's start painting in where we want to disperse We'll get this one going down. So from here. Now head into the actions panel and we'll select down. So so the action selected, just hit play, and I'll fast forward the video again to get to the result. So here's our result. Now what I wanna do here is remove the white background and bring in the transparent background like our original PNG. So to do that, I can just hide our background layer, just like that, so it just keeps the dispersion effects. And I can go File, Place, select the PNG, hit Enter, now if I go Control A to select all, I can just then use the Align Tools, Align Vertical Center, Align Horizontal Center, and there we go. There's our original PNG with the effects applied. So then you can save this out as a PNG. Okay, so that's it. I uh, hope you enjoy using the action. Uh, get in touch if you've got any questions. Thanks.